Hi everyone, it's your girl Velo here. Welcome to a new video. Today I thought I would play some Geo Guesser. Um, I was definitely inspired by James and Deli's videos that they've been doing lately. Playing Geo Guesser, it's not like a new thing, but I think it's really fun and it's been ages since I last played it. So I wanted to try and see like what's going on. Do I know anything about the world and stuff so in case you don't know geoguessr um you kind of get thrown into a random location kind of like on google maps street view and you have to figure out where you are so without any further ado i guess let's go first off i'm just gonna play the normal version world so it can throw me anywhere in the world it can be in the middle of nowhere or just anywhere, you know. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, first up, we have a location and I haven't moved yet. Um, I'm gonna say this looks very Finnish. And I was watching Deli and James play this and the one location that was Finnish, I knew immediately. So my first like gut feeling is that it's in Northern Europe. This could very well be in Finland, but I'm gonna see what we find. Um, usually on bigger roads and stuff, you can find like road signs or something like that, that will maybe give you away the language and stuff. Um, there's some kind of like mailbox or, oh my God, it looks... Okay, I think it's in Sweden. I don't think it's Finnish, but I do think it's still in Northern Europe. I cannot quite tell what it says, but it could say like Kungsgarden. I don't know. Sounds Swedish or Norwegian to me, but it's very flat. So I'm not going to go for Norway. Oh, at least not yet. There's literally like no clues. That was the only one. Um, let's see. How far can we go? Because usually you cannot go very far from the spot that you started in. Okay, it's letting me just continue. I'm gonna see how far I can get, but I'm pretty sure that my guests will be in Sweden somewhere. Because those barns look so Nordic. That house looks so Nordic. Let's see if we can see <gasps> Stuga. Oh yes, it's definitely in the Nordics. Um, I don't know what Stuga means, but I know the word. What does it mean? My my Swedish friends will be like. So definitely, definitely in Northern Europe, or then it's some kind of a really weird ass place in in the US where lots of Swedish people moved to <laughs> could be Denmark but oh not yet I don't want to do that yet I'm very quickly gonna go to the other end of the road where we started back there see what's in the other direction but I am pretty confident um no cannot see the names on the mailboxes nope um, I'm pretty confident this is probably in kind of northern Sweden, not like like in the middle of Sweden, somewhere where there's no big cities or anything, because I've been to the south of Sweden and it's a lot more lush than you would expect and this looks more like Finland, which is a little bit more north or like... You know, we're neighbors, but you cannot get that far south in Finland. So I'm thinking this is around the same. Um, I don't remember those words in English, you know, north, south thingy, Axel. Um, this is like very typical in the Nordics. Like you have neighbors and you have to walk like 20 minutes to get there to your closest neighbor. <laughs> Is this measuring my time, by the way? Oh, oh, there's a... Oh, it is... What? 
dark i have no idea how to say that but yeah okay i'm gonna go ahead try to see where exactly i want my like place to be how does this work okay so sweden i'm thinking somewhere around here what was the town name I doubt that I can find that. Um, I'm gonna see like a random <laughs> spot and see if I can find this place. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of put it, put the bin um, kind of just here in the middle of Sweden, both ways kind of. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna guess it because I don't know how much more closer I could get. This could be Denmark, this could be somewhere else, but let's see. It is Sweden! It's pretty close! Like, yeah, 200 kilometers. Anyway, I got quite nice points. Let's play the next round. Oh, I was like, that's the same place, but it was literally the same place. It just didn't load the image. Okay, this is much more southern. I'm thinking... This, this is in South America. Sek mun edu cacao, bref mun lagoa alegre. I know Spanish. Yeah, I'm thinking it's definitely in South America. Oh, there's a donkey. Oh, what a cutie. Personally, never been um, to America at all, south, north, never been even close, but I think I can get the continent down and that's probably it. Like, unless I can find like a big city name or something. Um, I'm not sure, like, is, is does this have a city name or a country name in it? Because if yes, I'm feeling very stupid. Okay, um... So there is a country called Ecuador, but it's not that. Oh, there's, oh, I can see the states of Brazil. Let's see. I have no idea what they are, but if I can find one. Um, Lago? I have no idea, guys. I have no idea. And this is a very small... Oh, Salobro. Salobro, whatever. Whatever that means. It's a cute house. Oh, there's another sign on this. This. Hello. Oh, oh, what, what is going on? It says Salobro on both sides, so am I like on the border of the city or something? La lagu? Lagi? I don't know, I can't quite make it out. Kilometers per hour. But I guess that's kind of universal. I don't know. This could be in Spain, in which case I'm very far off, but I feel like it's Roselandia. I feel like it's more likely that it's in Southern... South America? Whatever. Okay, I'm not getting anything out of this, so I'm just gonna guess... Okay. I'm gonna say this is somewhere in... Is Argentina like mountainous? Uh, I don't really, I don't know anything about South America. Okay, I'm gonna go somewhere over here. Near Santa Fe. Sure. Let's do... Boop. And guess. Okay, right continent. 
Like I said, I would probably get the continent down and that's it. That's pretty much it. I got 500 points. Okay. Um, I did kind of enjoy this location. It was fun because I've never been in a place like that. Next round! Mm-hmm. Hello, little cows! This could be in so many places. Oh my gosh. There's nothing. There's literally nothing. Um, this could be in Australia. Whoa, there's a mountain over there. Um, definitely kind of southern. Quite a dry place, but then again, the world is huge. <laughs> I really don't know. Okay, let's see if we can find any kind of hints besides cows. So far, that's pretty much the only hint um, in addition to the flora. So I'm thinking it's very much like a countryside road because the cows are literally just hanging out here on the street. Um, of course, the number plates. Oh! There's people! Okay, this is not in Australia, this is in Africa. Cocktails, ice cold, and it's in English. The text is in English and this is definitely like... Uh, this is really hard. So there's single bigger mountain. So I'm thinking, like, my mind goes to the only mountain I know that is in Africa. Which is probably, you know, I'm not very good at this, but it's somewhere here? <laughs> this makes me feel so ignorant, but that's what I'm here to do, like test myself. Okay, so we got the continent down, I think. Um, I'm trying to think what countries in Africa have English as one of their main languages. They do speak English in South Africa. I think. <laughs> mm, this does look very rural, but it is a big country, so... <sighs> okay, can I find this uh, little mountain? Somewhere in here, right? I don't know. Trans Frontier Park. Uh, okay, let's see if we can find something else. Nothing. It's just nothingness. And more cows. <laughs> yeah, I'm still not seeing any signs, any hints, but I'm glad we had that one car with the text and the passengers. So I'm definitely like thinking it's Africa, it's rural, it's not the most wealthy country, but also they speak English or they don't because also English is quite universal, but it was all in English. I'm just gonna go in the middle of South Africa and we're gonna guess. Oh! Oh! It's in Botswana, really close to... Is it in Botswana? Yes, it is. Like, very, very close to the border. I'm really proud of myself because I thought this was gonna go way wrong at first i thought it was in this in australia but you know on a global scale okay okay i'm 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 fine with this okay well hello we're back in the north my first thought is russia but russia is huge <laughs> Could the tanker say something, please? Does say something, but I cannot make it out. 
it's really foggy. Could be somewhere in Northern Europe, like anywhere in Northern Europe. Or it could be anywhere in Russia. Uh, hey truck, what are you saying? Me trucks. Oh! It's in English. It's probably not in Russia. It's probably not even in Europe. I totally like forgot about America. Because this could also be in anywhere. Like in Canada or something. This is really hard, but okay, I'm shifting towards North America, but it does look like very boreal, so I'm thinking like very North. <sighs> okay, let's see what we can find, if anything. 300 meters, I think it's meters, so definitely Canada. Um... Every time I say something, I feel like it's gonna be wrong, even though I'm pretty sure it's right, but... Eh, you know. There's nothing in here. And it's so foggy, I cannot even see what's going on in the valley. There's definitely, like, some stuff there, but... It's all just grey and blurry, and there's nothing in here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. No signs, no intersections, just a big old road. Hello? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> On the other side of the road, the weather changes completely. Okay, I can see some hills with snow on them, but I did want to see the truck, so <laughs> let's go back to this side of the road. Where's the... Oh my god, so far away. Transors Friderways. That's so generic. You're not giving me anything. Is there some more text on you, please? Okay, no. Okay. We're gonna go on the map. We're gonna zoom in on Canada. No, don't guess. I'm trying to freaking... Okay. Canada is huge. And I have literally no other clues, like nothing I can say for sure. Could even be- no, but there was a meter sign. I'm pretty sure that's a Canada thing, hopefully. That's a pretty nice guess, actually, but I think it's souther because... Well, I don't know. There's not much, but there is a, like, big road and, like trucks and stuff, so I'm just gonna pop this in here. And... That's pretty close as well, like, yeah, it's... it's far as fuck, but... <laughs> it's in Canada! I should have gone this way, there's mountains in here. Okay, well, okay. Okay, there's one more round. This is a game of five rounds, and I thought... I don't know. Last round? Okay, here we go. This looks... Oh. This looks quite tropical, quite southern. There's um some stuff going on in here, so let's see. Mm, there's a sign. I cannot quite read it yet. Let's see. Not a language I recognize, but that doesn't help me much. Oh! Oh wait, is it Spanish? I don't really know, but it could be Spanish. So... Spanish. 
so <laughs> this could be in South America again. Very interesting, like, space here. Very interesting buildings. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, hello! It's more of the language that I don't know, which I think is Spanish. Or Portuguese, or... You know. Something along those lines, but further than that, again, I'm just like, I'm probably getting the continent right, but that's it. Joey's Hotel, maybe? Okay, yeah, there's hotels. That's great. Great, great clues. Um, Macro Seed? Okay, what are you saying? Cannot quite see... Um, it's text in language, which, yes, I think is Spanish, but they've, of course, like, blurred out the street names and stuff. Some people over there, there's a lot more over here, but nothing that useful. Okay, this one more sign. Let's see what you're saying. So blurry though. Oh gosh. Um. Hydraulics? Hydraulic compressor comp Campo Verde? That could be a place name, but really, I don't know. Oh, there is a sign. Uh. Oh, hello. Campo, camp. Campo Verde? Okay. Now, if only I knew where that was. Because I don't. Okay. I'm gonna guess, um, not taking too much time, um, so it's probably a place called Campo Verde or something like that. Let's go to... Um, I think I'm just gonna go, like, somewhere in the middle of South America. Um, let's go here in Brazil. Let's go. Oh! It was in Brazil. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're done with the game. Okay, I got like half of the points you could get, which is like, it's okay. Now that you look at the map from this view, I think I did great. But of course, they weren't like super close, none of them. But I was mostly in the right country. I was always in the right continent. <laughs> Yay! I'm so good at this. Okay, yeah. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. And if you want to see more videos like this one, please let me know and yeah, give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.